The Makabayan bloc is looking into filing of charges against former President Rodrigo Duterte over his death threats to one of his Solons. In a televised interview, the former chief executive said that the confidential funds being requested by her daughter, Vice President Sara Duterte, are intended for restoring Mandatory Reserve Officers Training Corps, or ROTC, and for fighting insurgency. The first target, according to the older Duterte, is ACT Teachers Party List Representative Francis Castro and the Communists. Assistant Minority Leader and Gabriela Party List Representative Arlene Brosas condemns this, saying that it is a blatant violation and a dangerous attack on the rights of individuals who are advocating for transparency and accountability in government spending. She says they will not be silenced by threats and intimidation, adding that they are looking into possible legal actions against the older Duterte. For his part, Senator Ronald Senator Ronald De La Rosa, a known Duterte ally, says the opposition lawmakers can file complaints all they want. But he believes the remarks of the former president was only a figure of speech. Patayin yung kausa, patayin yung uh, idolohiya. Uh, alam naman natin yung figure of speech na ginagawa ni Pangulong uh, Duterte. So, hindi naman actually murder ang uh, ibig sabihin, no? Whatever kayo sabihin mong si Franz Castro yun, kayo, kayo Franz Castro et al. Kayo ang uh, target nito, yung uh, kuha ninyo, yung... Uh, yung inyong kaliwa, yung inyong koneksyon sa kaliwa, kailangan may bisto na yan at para mahinto yung panluloko nyo sa taong bayan.